Thank you, Dr. Smith. It's my uh, privilege to present uh, these data from uh, our phase three uh, clinical trial of idiotype vaccine therapy for follicular lymphoma in first remission. I present this data on behalf of the uh, uh, BioVest uh, 301 uh, phase three study investigators and uh, also on behalf of the numerous uh, scientists and clinical investigators who for decades uh, worked to make this uh, concept uh, uh, into a reality. The non-Hodgkin's lymphomas as a group are the, most, uh, are, are the sixth most common type of cancer in the United States. More than 65,000 new cases are expected this year, and more than 19,000 patients are expected to die. Follicular lymphoma is the second most common type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and accounts for 25% of all lymphoma diagnoses. Uh, in most cases, follicular lymphoma is considered to be incurable with standard therapies. Thus, if we're going to make an impact on outcome uh, uh, and uh, on mortality in lymphomas, we need to improve outcomes for patients with follicular lymphoma. This slide uh, is a schematic uh, of uh, our production techniques for uh, nidiotype vaccine. Uh, lymph node biopsy is taken from a patient. Uh, the tumor cells are uh, manipulated in the laboratory to make cell lines that produce a protein on the surface of the cell that's called an idiotype protein. Uh, this protein is unique to the cancer cell. It's not found on other normal uh, um, immune system cells or on other tissues of the body, and thus it serves as a target for therapy that's specific for uh, the tumor cells. These idiotypes will vary from patient to patient, and so each vaccine is different. A specific vaccine uh, is patient-specific. Um, the appropriate uh, um, cell lines are scaled up in a, in a bioreactor culture system, and the supernatants are used to purify large quantities of this idiotype protein uh, for chemical modification and mixture with immune, stimula immune stimulatory drugs, and that uh, mixture is injected uh, as a vaccine into patients. And it's been shown in uh, earlier studies to elicit uh, immunologic responses against uh, lymphoma, uh, as well as uh, some uh, evidence of clinical responses as well. In fact, uh, this year is the probably uh, about just about the anniversary of the uh, uh, publication of the Phase two study that formed the basis for this Phase three study. Uh, 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 this Phase three study compared patients receiving uh, the, the idiotype vaccine uh, that's in, shown in red on these uh, curves uh, versus a control vaccine, which included all the immune stimulatory molecules uh, with the exception of the idiotype protein related to the tumor. Um, patients were treated on the study with conventional chemotherapy until they achieved complete remissions and were vaccinated in complete remission. Um, after a single series of uh, vaccinations over a six-month period, uh, they were followed without further therapy. And this slide shows the disease-free survival uh, for patients who received either the idiotype vaccine or the control vaccine. Um, they, at an average or median follow-up of 56.6 months, the median disease-free survival was 44.2 months for the idiotype um, uh, vaccine and uh, 30.6 months for the control vaccine. Uh, which uh, was uh, statistically significant. Um, we conclude that the idiotype uh, vaccine um, with the, the immune stimulatory molecules, uh, GMCSF and uh, KLH, improves disease-free survival following chemotherapy in patients in remission uh, at the time of uh, vaccination. Uh, in contrast to other phase three uh, vaccine studies, uh, our results suggest that achieving remission before vaccination might be a prerequisite for deriving uh, maximum benefit from vaccination, or at least statistically detectable benefit. Um, our trial supports the earlier uh, uh, studies that show that idiotype vac uh, vaccination has a very low toxicity profile, and it, it also supports uh, uh, the uh, uh, fact that production of tumor-specific uh, uh, vaccine uh, can be done in real time using uh, our current technologies for application in the clinical setting. Um, thank you. <laughs>